All right, everybody, welcome to the drum mission. Uh, so lately, the channel's been doing well, I'm getting lots of views. I'm watching my subscribers go up and up and up. In the last two months, I picked up like 110, 120 new subscribers. And, you know, I don't want to get into the psychology of it, but, you know, I got bullied, bullied a lot when I was a kid and stuff like that, and people beating me up and whatever, and everybody thinking they were better than me. And, um, and, and even though, yeah, I'm 61 now, but that's sort of like background feeling is always there. I wish that it wasn't, but it just tickles me because really to all my fellow YouTubers out, out there, you know, this is really about, I mean, it's us and a camera, you know, with very little production value and we try to make it work. So I really appreciate everybody watching this, but we still need some support. So if you're getting something out of this, if you're learning, uh, a lot of people commented on my Blue Shuffle video last week and really loved it. Uh, $2, $3, $5, that helps, that helps, because I need to get some new equipment. Okay, today we're, uh, anyway, once again, thank you. I don't want to just move on. All right, uh, today we're talking about flow, not that flow. You know, at the sake of sounding a little misogynistic, I, I, I always had a little thing for that flow. All right, never mind. She's she's a very pretty girl. I'll tell you. You know, you, she wears that apron with with progressive, but she's really a very very a pretty girl. Anyway, anyway, flow. If you're listening, I'll drive. We'll go out for lunch. All right, never mind. I don't even know her real name. That's so bad. <laughs> I only know her as flow. All right, we're talking about flowing on. The drums. And if you type that in on YouTube, nine kajillion kazillion videos will come up. But that I get inspired and I watched a few this past week, and that's why I'm doing this. And most of the folks are showing you how good they do it. How good they flow on the drums. But they're not showing you how to get that good. Now there's a, a lot of different ways, you know, some of them do, but again, they never really slow it down. And you've got the ones that do the math, you know, you got 16 notes, you got five plus three, plus carry the two, divide by one, whatever. I don't do it that way. So I thought, how am I gonna teach this? I don't really do abstract kind of stuff. And I'm repeating myself a little because I've already recorded the playing part. And I'm doing this part last. But in my mind, I thought the best way to show you how to do it is to take you back to when I began to discover how to do it. And it was via a GAD clinic, and I'll get into that in the other part, who started to explain how he learned how to do it. And so what I'm going to show you is how my process began, which has been taken from the GOAT. And he is the GOAT, the greatest of all time, Steve GAD. That's how I feel, I'm a big GAD fan, you know, and this whole thing of flowing is sort of combining your cerebral cortex with your artist, right? Your inner artist. I've got my colors, I'm hearing something in my head, but at the same time I want to know where I am in the song, where I am in the bar, right? So I'm, I'm not going to do a fill in a weird place or where it doesn't belong, all that kind of stuff, and I'm going to let that, let that artist that's being touched by the song, being moved by the song, speak. Ringo was one of the best at that. All right, without any further ado, let's go right to the drum lab. And let me show you how I learned how to do this, I don't know, like 20, 25, 30 years ago. All right, to the drum lab. Welcome to the drum lab, the drum mission drum lab. Okay, so today we're talking about flow. Learning to make it flow, right? So that your drumming can go from your head, you, you hear something while you're playing on the gig, and then you can execute. So you might say to yourself, well, what does that mean I have to kind of like have everything, like practice constantly? You would think that, 
but no, 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 right? And I want to talk about some guys real quickly that flow well, but necessarily didn't have a lot of incredible facility. Let's start with Ringo. If you haven't heard the song Rain, listen to the song Rain. Ringo is flowing in that. He's playing very differently than he normally plays, and it's Ringo's favorite playing. He said it himself, but just the way it's flowing out of him. He's hearing stuff, he's crossing bar lines, and he's doing it. But at all times, while Ringo was doing that, he knew where he was in the song and in the bar that he was playing in. So, I thought, how, I don't usually like to teach abstract ideas. I like to teach more mechanical things. So, you know, right, left, right hand here, left hand here. And that's easy. We can all understand that. I check that camera. I always think it's going to stop. So, but this is an abstract idea. So I thought the best way to teach it is to show you, if I go back 20, 25 years, uh, how I started to learn how to flow. And I'm not saying that my way is the only way. I'm saying this might help you. There's a couple of ways to do it, but this might help you, right? So let's go back in time. Hmm. Now, you'll know because nothing will happen, but I'm going to work on putting an effect in here. And we'll see if that, if that effect is working, then it, 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 we know. I've never used this, what, this idea before. We'll see if it happens. Okay, so, hmm. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I had gone to a GAD clinic. Going to Lansing, going back to like 25, 25 years or so. I was living in Kalamazoo, and I went to uh, this GAD, the Steve GAD clinic that was at uh, Michigan State University. He said these words: "You can have a whole career if you have four or five ideas that you can do very differently." And if you go through the Gadamans book, that's really what it's about. He has an idea, and then he displaces it. Right? He starts it on one. And when it comes back around, he starts it on the E. And when it comes back around, he starts it on the AND. So I remember I was so excited to go home, and I thought, okay, what idea should I take and try to orchestrate it in many different ways? And there was one idea that I always did well, and I thought I'd give it a shot this way, was the Bonham triplet idea, right? And that's when Bonham does those triplets, he does rack tom, floor tom, kick, and he does it uh, left-right kick. Me, I'm left-handed. I'm set up lefty, so I'm going to go right-left kick. But I didn't want to do it just on the tom-toms. I was already pretty good at that, and I didn't know what else I could do there. So I took Gant's idea. I said, so here I'm going to show you now, step-by-step, step, what I did 20-something years ago to begin to learn how to flow. I said, let me take that right-left kick that I always do, and instead of doing it here on the tom-toms, I'm going to do it between my snare and my hi-hat. And then my next thought was, instead of doing them like triplets, I'm going to do them in 16th note, with 16th note values. So 16th notes, you know, 1E into 2E into 3E into 4E into, those are four groupings of four, but these are grouped in threes. So it's going to kind of move through the bar in a different way. So one of my advantages, I think, was when I was a kid, my first teacher, when I was, in, I was from the ages of 11 to 16, made me count everything out loud. And I think that helps me to know where I am in the bar because I trained that little guy in my head. You know, there should be a little guy in your head that always knows where I am because he's always counting kind of what I'm doing. Whether it's counting or something else, you need something in your head that knows where you are. So let's go nice and slow. I'm going to play one bar of that and then go back to the groove. And that was the other thing my teacher stressed upon me. Whenever you're learning something, and this is good for flowing, from a groove to a groove. From a groove to a groove. Don't just play the thing. So let's start with a nice easy rock beat. Now, one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one. And I remember thinking to myself, well, that's kind of cool. I think the way it goes through the bar. 
Let me do it again. connected to my cerebral cortex and give myself a new set of colors but still know where I am in the bar. My brain was having a, a light up moment. Let me do that a little faster so you can see. two notes on a bass drum but it just felt good just felt good there right and I do that's the way I do it a lot with the two notes on the bass drum all right so what was the next thing I did I thought suppose I added the tom tom right up there because I was doing something similar to that and something else and I thought suppose I did this See what's happening? Now I added a new color. A new color. Let me do that one a little quicker and then we're, we're going to move on to as this starts to develop. Here we go. Let me do that one quicker for you. Next thing I wanted to add was doubles on my kick. So I thought, huh, right, if I do this, that's kind of boring. Right, and I thought, well, 16th notes, that's four to a, you know, one end to two end, uh, and everything's kind of like, you know, coloring in the lines. So I thought, suppose I went right, left, kick, right, left, kick, kick. And, th and this is why, like I said, I don't like to have all the, you know, uh, learning, you know, five plus three plus five, whatever, and then that's a five note grouping, a three note, and trying to do the math on a gig. I just want it to flow. So I like counting better. Some people like those three note groupings, five note groupings. So, you know, you got 16 notes to fill. You can break it five, five, and six, six, five, and five. I don't like it. Uh, I want to know where I am in the bar. I want it to flow a little easier. If that works for you, have at it. Uh, great. All right. So what I did was I came up with a seven note grouping. I went right, left, kick, right, left, kick, kick. So I thought, well, I'm going to count that through. One and two and three. Here we go. Little to end it that just kind of flowed out. I remember the day because it was sunny. I had a whole room, it was a two bedroom apartment, I had a whole room set up for the drums. I remember when I did that for the first time. I've used that lick ever since. Let me put that a little quicker now and show you and show you. Okay, here we go. That sounded pretty good. And I came up with it then. And then by changing where I'm putting things, you change the flavor, the color, how it works. And then you're on a gig one day, my friends. You're on a gig and you do some weird version of that that you weren't expecting. And you go, holy SH double hockey sticks. That was cool. And it just came out. 
as you were doing it. I promise you that will happen. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I just took it way back in time to show you how I started to learn to flow. Here are the rules. Let me just reiterate. Number one, take a simple idea that you do well. Put it in different voices or different colors or flavors, however you want to think. Put it in a different grouping. In other words, I took that three note grouping and I put it within a four note grouping. I had right left kick going over one e end up, two e end up, three e end up, four e end up. So I kind of connect my artist and my cerebral cortex. All right, and then I just keep changing and expanding, right? I mean, you know, and you can get into some of the seven note groupings, five note groupings, that's fine if that works for you. Me, I like to count through and know where I am in the bar. Know where I am in the bar. I don't think ever five plus three plus two, whatever equals 16. I don't think that way. This is the way I think. Right, let me take you out with this. Let me try to basically use right left kick or left right kick and show you and just develop a little solo and let it flow out. No second takes, no third takes, just whatever happens, happens. All right, you guys. Stay tuned for next week, it'll be another instructional. Not sure where I'm up, but I think it might be the bossa nova. Here we go.